this is what i am saying that this was a very interesting experience when i started i was also thinking that it's maybe but most people they come to ayurveda they're already diagnosed they have some kind of like diabetes high blood pressure cholesterol back pain and uh, then we do lot of questioning you know there is a questionnaire mm-hmm. in ayurveda there are many types of examinations there are eight types of examinations and one of them is called prashan pariksha prashan pariksha means questioning asking questions so that that was the whole idea that by taking proper history by asking all the questions and then i thought that how i can increase it because the results were very nice so i became more inspired then i started a television show in india about 5 6 years ago and uh, in the show i am talking about health about uh, you know diet and lifestyle and i am telling you if you have any problem call this number so the idea was that everybody in india has a mobile phone everybody practically 90% people even poor people who have no house no money they have a mobile phone so i thought anybody who has a mobile i can put a doctor in their mobile because just a number so they can dial number doctor is available they can talk any problem this is a very nice project and it, it started growing when i started i had one doctor now i have 150 doctors and every day about 6000 patients are calling and we are giving them free consultation and uh, out of that some people they need medicine so we make medicine and we send to their home so recently i was also awarded as a ashoka ashoka fellowship ashoka foundation is based in america and uh, this is a foundation which is looking for people who are doing a very special type of uh, uh, innovative work for the society not for business for the society so they they selected me because this is a new idea helping people while they don't have to move anywhere using the mobile phone and this project of mine teledoc also was awarded uh, first prize in the whole world by the united nations in geneva in 2003 i got the prize first prize this is a very nice idea and now i can see that this is giving lot of good results as well as we are able to document all the information which in ayurveda is not available if you go to any ayurvedic practitioner or any ayurvedic doctor or any even ayurvedic hospital there is not much documented proof or evidence how many people were treated how many people were going getting you know response how many people improved so we have a, a software we have developed uh, and uh, we have our own server and in future i want to give this uh, all this information to all the ayurvedic doctors you know. so if they have a patient and they want to see what they can do they can log in and get the information so this is what i am doing this is uh, the ayurveda section uh, jiva institute is a non profit organization in india our goal is to revive the ancient knowledge systems of india in the modern uh, society we work in three areas first is ayurveda of course uh, uh, bringing the authentic ayurveda the original ayurveda not uh, the so called modern ayurveda superficial but real ayurveda uh, even today that's why we will not provide any medicine without consultation it's not that okay you have diabetes you take this medicine you have joint pain you take this no this is not ayurveda ayurveda personally you have to talk to the doctor either phone or physically now people demanding physical clinic so now in india we have already 25 clinics in different cities by the end of uh, this year we will have about 40 clinics in india by next year we are planning about 70 80 clinics all over india so it's uh, slowly we have the plans to have physical clinics also but most people i am this is very interesting in the cities where we have opened clinic many people still don't want to go to clinic now people are very comfortable with online because they say medicine can come to our home so i don't have to go so this question that uh, people don't have to come physically now people are doing lot of online shopping online this so doctor is also available online they don't have to travel there is already so much traffic jam in india so it's better people stay home and they can talk to the doctor so this is what uh, and in the second thing we're doing is education this is very interesting 
because we think that children are the future citizens of the world now we adults may have some habits which are now very difficult to change now we hear ayurveda yoga and some people say you should do this you should do that but now it's very difficult to change our habits if i am addicted to something you know it's very difficult. some people can't give up coffee some people cannot give up you know some chocolate or something you know and or something like which is more maybe not good for them because they are now grown and this this has become a habit but uh, children if we can teach children good knowledge good thing they can study mathematics physics chemistry but at the same time they must understand what is the purpose of education why do we go to school now people think that going to school means i can get a job i can make money okay that's fine many people are making money but they are not happy they are not successful in their life so education is that knowledge that can help you to lead a healthy happy fearless and also prosperous life you can make money you can also be healthy you can be happy and you can enjoy everything so that is why in the education we have to put how to be healthy to recognize your nature what is your constitution what type of uh, nature you have which profession you should go and in our school we have a school about 1600 children are there from uh, nursery that is 3 years to 16 years old and children are doing very nice uh, activities you know we teach them uh, how to respect the environment we teach them how to respect other people how to take care of them so we have a philosophy called soe whatever you do you should take care of yourself you should also take care of others and take care of the environment then everybody will be happy so this is one uh, second area and the third area which we work is the higher uh, goal of life which is called sometimes spirituality or you know understanding the self understanding the real purpose of life what is the goal of life so we also have a special branch where if people want to come they can come stay and study and understand the real shastra a real shastra means the knowledge from the scriptures now many people are teaching different kind of spiritual programs but what we want to uh, you know spread is the authentic original vedic knowledge so this is a goal of jiva it's a non profit organization uh, it's a team of dedicated people three of us are brothers real brothers one is doing the higher spirituality he is like a saint he lives in a holy place although he was engineer before very qualified engineer but he left uh, everything and is became like a, we call it sanyasi or like a renounce person Uh, another brother also engineer he takes care of the education and we also have an education one american mr steven rodolph he is also our fourth brother so we are four brothers now and uh, he is living with us for last 20 years and taking care of the education department creating new programs creating new curriculum new systems for the children he is very expert and i am taking care of the ayurveda department so this is uh, jiva